Hey, what's up everyone? I'm Andrew and in this video we have Dell Inspiron and 5110. At the first, this laptop may look okay, but this laptop has a several problems and one of them is that this machine is not working. So, you can check the blue light on the charger. When I press the power button, the laptop charger is shutting down. That means this laptop is in a short circuit somewhere and the power is returning back. So this is a protection mechanism for the charger to not burn down. The other problems are more cosmetic. The top case is a little bit broken in the corner, but the display is still good, which is a great thing. And as well, there are some scratches, but nothing serious. So let's start with disassembling and do something with this machine. Because you're watching this video, you can guess that I repaired this laptop. Fortunately, the problem wasn't big, so the repair was easy. Last month, I have a few failed projects, but this one finally successful. Actually, I had one Asus, which is too expensive to be repaired, one Toshiba as well, which is too expensive, and one Acer, which is too damaged. While disassembling, I found that this laptop is liquid damage as well, but the owner of this laptop has told me that this laptop has stopped working after they dropped this laptop while it was connected to the charger and turned it on. And this is the motherboard. The problem here was coming from this part here, so I changed this MOSFET and to the smaller board, I changed this component here and the MOSFET as well. So basically, this was a pretty easy and cheap repair. Now, after repair, I half assembled the laptop just to test it. The laptop is working and I have no problems. Now, I start with complete teardown. And all the parts are separated. But now I move to in detail cleaning and checking all the components. Before I remove the CPU, I always prefer cleaning from the old thermal paste. The CPU is clean, and now I can continue with cleaning the motherboard. The motherboard is clean. And now we can move to cleaning the other parts. Here I have a small problem. I cannot untie the screw from the Wi-Fi. So I use dermal to make one straight cut and now for a flathead screwdriver. Now using flathead screwdriver, I remove the screw much easier. Before I move to cleaning the other parts, First, as always, I clean the work surface first. And now I can move to cleaning the other parts. And to clean the electronics, I'm always using a few soft brushes, 96% isopropyl alcohol, cotton buds, some paper napkin, and compressed air.
Well, now the keyboard. To clean the keyboard, I'll use just the standard things as before. But in addition, I have some soft cleaning cloud. On this cloud, I put a little isopropyl alcohol. And with this, I clean the major dirt from the keyboard. In addition, I use a brush and compressed air to clean the dirt around the keys. Well, the display. Here I used a combination of anti-static glass cleaner and isopropyl alcohol, a few soft cleaning clothes and a very soft brush. And after a couple of minutes, the display is shining again. Now let's move to the case. Because the top of the case or the lid with the bezel is damaged, I bought a new case. I mean, this is not a new case, it's a used case, but in okay condition. It's not a perfect, but I got it for a very cheap. And it will do a great job here. So the case that has some electronics on it. I clean it using usual things, like brushes, isopropyl alcohol, anti-static glass cleaner, some cleaning clothes, and cotton buds. And the case that has no electronics, I wash it using soap and water. Now all the parts are clean and ready for assembling. So let's assemble this laptop and do some nice upgrades. Before I place the motherboard in the case, let's upgrade the CPU. And from Intel i3-2330M, I'll use Intel i7-2760QM. Also, some upgrades like this one may request a BIOS upgrade first. So if you're going to do some upgrades, first check is your BIOS version supporting that upgrade. And the other upgrade here is going to be the disk. This mechanical disk, we're going to change it with SSD. The SSD will give a pretty nice boost to this machine. And the last upgrade is the RAM. So instead of 4 GB, I will go with 16 GB in total. 16 GB I think is too much for this machine, but it's okay for nowadays standards. And we are done with assembling. Now, I move to making some additional tests and installing Windows. As Windows, I go with Windows 7 Home. So this laptop has already connected a Windows 7 Home license. And also, that's what the owner requested, in case if I repair this laptop. 
and after all changes, finally we got this machine fully working. And a few words about this laptop. This model's starting to be old, but still not a drop in a trash. So this laptop, with all these upgrades, is incredibly fast and is great for most daily basic tasks. I mean, such as watching videos or movies. Because of the HDMI, I can share image to a TV or some other monitor. Also, this machine is good for listening to music, using social media and web browsing, and much more. The gaming is possible also. I mean, this machine is great to play some older games that are from this laptop era, but not really for something newer. Well, and this is all about this Dell Inspiron N5110. And I'm very glad because I backed this machine in function again. So, I hope you enjoyed watching this video. And I hope this video will give some ideas and inspiration to back some tech or some other stuff in function again. Also, if you want to support my channel and my work, you can press the subscribe button. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.